Hi, I would like to visit a topic uh, which can be interesting uh, in the Wi-Fi 6 context where people are announcing uh, reporting results on 4 cross 4 or 8 cross 8 APs. I just thought I could share some ideas on when these uh, APs could be useful. And if you're wondering why I am uh, even uh, taking a look at this topic, we will see that very soon. My name is uh, Srikant and I'm with NanoCell Networks. So uh, why am I even talking about whether these things can make a difference? Uh, APs are being announced with those features, but if we look at the client side, most clients tend to max out at two cross two or two streams. Uh, lots of low end clients with one cross one, including IoT clients. Maybe there are a few clients which are about to cross to maybe high end laptops and a few of that kind. OK, so we would say the majority of clients are going to be two cross two and some one cross one. So the question then comes is to what can a four cross four and eight cross eight AP do when the clients are only a max of two spatial streams? Will the bigger spatial stream support uh, help us at all? This is the question that I would like to throw some light on. So there are few things where I think this can make a difference. So let me start with the first one, MU MIMO. So just to recap, MU MIMO uh, can be applicable both in downlink and uplink. Maybe initially we have products supporting on the downlink and very soon uh, uplink can also become real with recent announcements. Remember that in MU MIMO, uh, AP can either send slash schedule multiple stations to send on the same bandwidth, one of these bandwidths. Different spatial streams are assigned. Uh, the number of spatial streams need not be the same and the MCS etc can also be different. Okay, so this is the bare minimum idea of MU MIMO. Let's look at some downlink and uplink nuances and see where it can help. So if we look at downlink MU MIMO, uh, remember that clients are probably going to be one or two SS capable, but AP with its higher spatial stream capability can now simultaneously serve these multiple clients. Where do I think this will be useful? In small indoor environments, typically, for example, in the same room, etc., where you have, you know, uh, people guzzling data on the downlink. This can be quite handy because you can get better overall throughput and an experience. The clients like, let's say, uh, a media watching laptop or even a phone, etc., they're probably going to be static. OK, now, how does a 4SS or an 8SS AP help? Because remember that the total number of streams served now gets utilized by MU MIMO. Okay, so this is a useful case. And if you're wondering, okay, I bought an uh, 8SS AP, but I have only, you know, three clients, a total of 4SS, uh, can uh, I get some advantage? Definitely yes, because if you have higher number of a stream capability, that can help you do what we call as better downlink multi-user beam forming. So definitely a higher a stream capability AP is going to get us uh, not only the plain DLMU MIMO, but also a potentially a better performing MU MIMO. So keep that as one advantage. Uplink MU MIMO, recently introduced in 11AX, products are getting announced. So same issue, Remember that clients are going to be one or two SS, but now AP can schedule multiple clients at the same time in the same bandwidth. And that can help as uplink traffic in a small room, a good RF condition starts increasing, which is I think happening as we spend more time indoors. And similar to that thought that we had, uh, if you had a four SS or eight SS, uh, even if you're serving say three SS uh, in total, Remember that that will help us give you better receive performance. OK, so overall you can have uh, better DLMU MIMO, better ULMU MIMO, and also the fact that you can serve multiple clients simultaneously, which I think could come in handy in certain scenarios. OK, now we could 
you know the, the debate for somebody investing in this technology is is this MU MIMO uh, gains going to offset any costs that I might incur in investing in this 4SS or 8SS AP? Is there any other advantage? What about SU, which is, I think, going to be predominant mode of transmissions in a general sense? On the downlink, remember that an 8SS or a 4SS capable AP should be able to do better downlink beam forming, standardized or otherwise, because it has more degrees of freedom due to more antennas. So that should see us having better what we call rate versus range performance, both on downlink and on uplink, because on the uplink, the larger number of antennas should give us a better receiver combining performance, like a maximal ratio combining. And that should again see us get better throughput at a certain distance. So SU can also benefit by having larger stream capability at the AP. And I don't think I'll invest it if it's just going to be SU, that's, but that's just my opinion. A combination of MU MIMO benefits plus SU, I think could be a potential a clincher depending on whether you can, you see cost benefits due to that. Is this all? Final one. Remember that in many home, uh, we are now moving on to these multi AP markets where not just one, but multiple APs are being planned. And that's, you know, Wi Fi easy mesh kind of uh, certification has become popular. There, the backhaul amongst the APs is a very critical part of the whole experience. Okay. This backhaul can now leverage the 4 cross 4 or 8 cross 8. This need not be even supported on all the radios. For example, uh, there could be a 6 gigahertz radio which could be 4 cross 4 or 8 cross 8 or a third 5 gigahertz radio or even a shared 5 gigahertz radio. Again, I'm sure we will see a lot of product innovation. So you could find something happening uh, you know, on that front as well. So just to summarize, I think MU MIMO benefits both downlink uplink, SU rate versus range, and then there is a backhaul benefit as well. Okay, so these three, is this justifiable? Is this valid for your case vis-a-vis uh, -vis the cost that you're going to incur? I think that's the trade-off that you'll have to evaluate. I hope this has been useful. For more videos, please look at our website. Uh, Wi-Fi Now Academy also has several of our courses where we will be talking about these in detail. Thank you.